Hello, Aquarius. It's Alma by God, Tarot, and this is your how your person feels about you. Tarot God reading. Now this person is, is whoever you're thinking of. Whoever you're thinking of, hoping to draw some information that is validating and <sighs> informative and healing. For my dear Aries, because you guys have been waiting. And we're going to figure out what the vibe was when we last we last had a chat with this person what were the vibes before that led you to the place where you had to like worry wonder what they think of you now because like give us the vibe and then we'll do the reading so give this video a like if you if you want to find out go ahead and do me a solid give the video a like here we go yeah. first card is capricorn all right aries you like Capricorn, right? The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. Capricorn, I feel like you guys have the same amount of ambition, for sure. You appreciate that. Then we have Pisces energy, and the energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. You already know. She already know that that's like kind of like you're like there's some spillover with some of you Aries, you March Aries, and you have some Pisces like tendencies, so that's fine, that is fine, but the vibes are really giving a little bit of like it's been business, it's been business, and then there's been some wishy washy emotional clairvoyant energy with the Pisces energy, but two just completely different energies by the way, boss of a corporate organization who can make cutthroat decisions, person who can't even make a decision because they're just wondering how you feel. How do you feel about that? Should I do it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> ah, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe today. Pisces. Then we have Taurus energy. More Earth. Earth sandwich. We have the energy around you. Shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. Another financially Ill literate sign. Taurus is about that business. So it's really giving somebody from work or somebody that you've done business with. Somebody connected to your lifestyle, routine, or just, yeah, health. Possessions, things, trades, deals, contracts. Maybe not contracts, but like things. Workable, billable hours. And, and then sandwich on the inside is a heart of gold. So let's have a look. Creative, a little funny, a little funny. Energy. Okay, so what could possibly go wrong? What is? How does this person feel about you? It feels like business, and then in the center of it is like the feelings. So it's like, I feel like it's a person that's very business minded, or somebody that's just black and white. But you're looking for a little gray in the middle. Like, what's in the middle of their heart? Like, how do they feel about you? Like, on the like, like what they put up, the front they put up, but on the inside, like, how do they do? They like me? I feel like that's what, what you guys are wondering here. So let's have a look. Do they like, like do they like like me? Yes, they are very tempting. You have the devil here, and this represents temptation. But warning, 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 warning. This card's in reverse, so I just go, is that temptation? Is it temptation or is it lust? Or are you just like deluding yourself into something that really isn't true? Because the devil is giving like a little bit of like, yeah, yes, temptation, but it's probably not a good thing. It's probably a very like too much temptation. It's like overindulging temptation type. And that's, you better believe that the devil is associated with Capricorn themselves. The devil. The devil. Right, just to start off that reading, you have somebody very tempting. It's giving me square shoulders. It's giving me cologne. It's giving very handsome and well put together. So there's that devil energy, temptation. We have the judgment card. Okay, people are going to judge. Oh, so what is that? What's, oh, I want to know. Let's just pull all the cards. King of Wands, oh my gosh. King of Cups, oh my gosh. And the Five of Swords upright. You know damn well. You know damn well that this person may not be, you know, they, they might be fun. But it's like as fun as they are, they do do some damage, I feel like. I feel like this person is reckless. I feel like this person's a lot, it's one of those people that's a lot of fun. But not a, you're you're kind of a bad influence. You throw me off track. I have to recalibrate myself whenever I hang out with you. Tim, Tishin, it's it's giving me they have all the makings of like a really hot person that everybody wants. And when when you're around them, there's like a mist that comes over you. You're like, <laughs> oh you, <laughs> like you get you get like overcooked 
noodle arms. You know, I don't, I don't know why arms, but knees, maybe, maybe, maybe knees. And so there is that temptation about this person, but not only this person, there could be temptation around the things you do around this person. It's tempting to go look at them. Just pretend I'm going to get coffee, but go look at them. That weird, that stuff is like, I feel like, let's be on, let's be cautious. Let's be cautious because we could be Delulu. We could have that Pisces Delulu in there. And we, you know, if they feel... If they're not feeling the glue, it could look it could look crazy. But if they're kind of on that Pisces wavelength themselves, which is very possible, uh, they might find it romantic. They might find it romantic, right? We have judgment. I say that because there's some judgmental energy coming over here, and we already know it's in reverse. So I have to I have to warn you. I have to I be like, listen. Either I have to say, hey, have the confidence. People are gonna judge. Don't don't let the haters dictate what you do. But then, I don't know. This is pretty. Judgment for, you know, Pluto, that's like a transformation. It's like, it's like, don't, don't open that OnlyFans. That'll change the tra trajectory of your life. There's nothing wrong with it, but like, it's going to change. It's like a big change for you to just kind of like, eh, why don't I just do it? You need to think. You need to think about the trajectory of your life. Are you going to be a nurse later? Are you going to be a nun later? Are you going, like, what are you trying to do? You have to look broadly and so again because you'll have some judgment if you don't if you don't so i feel like with this person there might be some judgment might even be might even be judgment of you like caring what they're thinking how they feel about you because i feel it just it, i kind of get the impression that i kind of get the impression that they did you dirty a little bit i'm hoping you're the one that did them dirty but because this is about how they feel about you it just feels like it looks like it's giving them with the king of wands it feels like they take manipulative measures to get what they want and i feel like it could be manipulative because we're dealing with taurus and capricorn energy where they just they have to close the deal they have to get what they want they have to win they have to score they have to have the best so it feels like this person may just have used you in some way again temptation this person may have used you in some way or manipulated you in some way to get some loving knight of cups they got the roses they got the please baby baby please type energy can I, with my hug energy, you know, the king of the knight of cups are going to come on, lay it on thick, maybe love bomb. Maybe this is a love bomber. feels very manipulative a little bit. I think, and it also feels like they maybe that their passion or their, their intensity was attractive. Like, oh, wow, they're really into me, huh? Knight of cups in reverse, it just feels very manipulative. Knight of wands in reverse, I mean, king, king of wands in reverse feels kind of manipulative, like just, and they might even use the fact that they don't want to be judged like you know when somebody goes oh i just don't want you. i feel like you're better than me like i feel like you deserve better like but you know da -da -da. and then feel so so bad like make them make you think that they feel really bad about who they are that you're like oh no you're great no no i'm here here oh my god my clothes fell off so yeah don't fall for that and the knight of cups it feels like this person's very creative vivacious they can be very entertaining i'll give you that very colorful very charming very funny, very fun to be around, but their intentions are never, they're just selfish, selfish, manipulative, by any means necessary-ish, love bombing, maybe even immature, maybe even underdeveloped in the emotional intelligence front, but just able to manipulate in that area. That's what it feels like. Because then we have the five of swords, that's where you gotta cut your losses, this person's a headache. This person is somebody you gotta walk away from. You have to be like, okay, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And it might even be a person that you just have to do in doses. It might be, it might be type that you're just like, I can't, I can't deal with you. I can't. I can't. It might be the headache that you think is worth it at the beginning of the cycle. You're like, oh, I miss them. They're fun. Like, we always went on an adventure with them. And then you come back, you go out with them, you realize, oh, yeah, because they would. Tell me to deliver packages and not tell me what was in the package. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because they made me return things at Walmart, the wrong package, the wrong thing inside the package. Okay, right, yeah. And then the Knight of Cups, you know. Come on, please help me. I need your help. Oh. I don't know. Whatever tugs at your heartstrings. Um, but again, at the end of the day, we see the Five of Swords. We know we have to make a quick, sudden chop and walk away from situations that are just not serving. And I feel like this per this this situation gives you that time and time again vibe, that cyclist loop. 
of hey, oh yeah, I forgot you're like that. You will never have my best interest at heart. You're always looking to get something or win something or get ahead of me or you know, win the conversation, win the argument. Like you're just a very transactional person. And with that being said, I feel like that's how that's how they feel. That's the one they want to feel about you. I feel like they can get something from you. That's why they're always like, Oh yeah, cool. But you, I feel like you, you the way that you see them or the way that you admire them, but at your own expense. Maybe if you're gonna be around them, maybe you just learn some techniques and you No, just stay just just know. Just know. If there's good things about them, maybe you take that with you. If there are things where it's just manipulative and it seems like they have ulterior motives, just be like, you know what? I remember that four of us, five of stories energy where I have to be like, alright, this is where we this is where we pro ways. This is where I say no and we move on to the next subject. Type five. So you know? At least you know. There it is. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and if you like your own personal reading, they're coming. They're coming. Just keep waiting. Stay tuned. Subscribe so that you know when they do come. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.